How's it going guys? Cody guys back again dropping out another video. Right guys, this is another story out of my old prison. Uh, it's just gone live in the last hour and a half. Uh, it's re reference, uh, as you can see from the title and the subsequent headline, it's reference a uh, death in custody that took place uh, on Sunday at Forest Bank Prison of a 50 year old man who was on remand at the time. Um, my thoughts and my prayers go out to the prisoner's family and stuff. There's no place, more depressing place to die than a prison. Um, prison body bags and stuff, body bags, sorry, are as much part of prison life as the bars, the understaffing and the spice. Um, my thoughts and prayers, like I say, are, are with the prisoner's family and stuff. God bless you, may rest in peace. Um, as usual, guys, I'll put a link in the description below, reference the story. Anyway, the story reads, inmate dies in custody at Forest Bank Prison. The 50-year-old man was on remand at the Salford Prison when he died on Sunday. An inmate has died whilst in custody at the Salford Prison. The prisoner was on remand at HMP Forest Bank when he died suddenly on Sunday, July the 8th. It is understood that the 50-year-old man suffered a medical episode shortly before passing away. He was on remand at the prison in Pendlebury Salford ahead of a court hearing at the time of his death. The Independent Prisons and Probation Ombudsman has launched an investigation into the death. Bosses at Sodexo Justice Services, the private firm which runs the prison, said the inmates next of kin have been informed. A spokesperson for HMP Forest Bank said we can confirm there was a death in custody at HMP Forest Bank on Sunday, the 8th of July. The next of kin have been informed. Deaths in custody are a tragedy and our thoughts are with the family. As with all deaths in custody, there will be an investigation by the Independent Prison and Probation Ombudsman. And therefore, we are unable to comment further at this stage. Forest Bank Prison, which is located off Agecroft Road in Pendlebury, Salford, houses around 1,500 men. Some are serving sentences, whilst others are on remand ahead of court hearings. The death on Sunday is the latest in a string of incidents at the prison over the last few months. In January, a prisoner had to be rushed to hospital after reportedly setting himself on fire. The 37-year-old was left in a critical condition after the incident, which happened at a time when it was claimed prisoners were confined to their cells on lockdown because of staff shortages. During a separate incident, also in January, January uh, shocking footage emerged which showed a prisoner being brutally attacked in his cell. The video showed a gang of inmates kicking and punching their fellow prisoner to the head and face and body. Um, guys, I'll put a link in the description below for this. I've done a vlog about this. This guy was a paedophile, right, that tried to meet... Um, he was he wanted on, like, trying to non soft kids, yeah. Like, 14-year-old girl, 13-year-old girl. Um, was wanted by the police. Ended up getting captured. Got sent to Forest Bank. Uh, what happens to sex offenders in prison, guys, that go on to, that don't go on to the numbers that end up in general population? Thought he was a big hard man. He got absolutely leathered. It's a very short video. I'll put that in link in the description below as well. Um, the footage which shared on social media was referred was referred to Greater Manchester Police. Then in June, a prison officer was arrested on suspicion of rape after an allegation that a woman was raped at the prison. A prison officer, guys, that. Uh, the 25-year-old man was later released under investigation. That's ongoing. Uh, then we've got this Laney uh, Martin, who's just been done for smuggling the contraband into the prison, received a 40-month sentence. Then I think February or March, there was a prison officer that actually quit her job she, because she had a sexual relationship with a sex offender in the prison and stuff. Uh, do you know what I'll do, guys? I'll find these stories and I'll put a link in the description below. I'll put the CCTV for the, uh, sorry, the footage reference the attack on the prison officer, uh, the prisoner that was a, that was a, should have been on the numbers but didn't and got attacked. Um, good old prison justice and stuff. I'll put that in the description. I'll put a link for this story and I'll also put a link to the, uh, last story as well right reference to sex offender and the prison officer on that note guys my thoughts and prayers are with the f uh, prisoner's family at this sad and tragic time um hopefully um more people need to speak out about deaths in custody because the prison tried to brush it under the carpet the prison haven't come out with this for they don't call to the media and do a press release to say there's been a death in custody someone's alerted the the the, the media and the media have gone after the prison and the prison have said yep yeah, that, that's happened so there we go. On that note, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Like, comment, subscribe. God bless the prisoner. Um, my thoughts and condolences are with his family. Uh, God bless him. May rest in peace. Like, comment, subscribe. Speak to you soon. Cody out.